The Fiji education system always had three terms in a school year, and these terms were divided into 14 weeks for term one and term two. And for term three, they were just 13 week term. After each term, students and teachers were given two weeks break, except term three, where they had seven weeks break, which normally began in, in late uh, November. This has always been the practice except for the year 2021 and 2022. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, term three of the 2021 academic year was brought forward to 2022, and after a short break of one week, school resumed uh, with the 2022 academic year in the month of April, which is very unusual. So unforeseen circumstances naturally pushed the closure of school right towards the end of December, and I would call it mid-December. This year, Term 1 was 13 weeks, Term 2 was uh, had 12 weeks, and Term 3 will have 9 weeks with one week break in between the terms, and that this brings to a total of 34 weeks in a school year. So you can call it the academic year. The Ministry has considered the option of a four-term academic year in 2023, and the proposal has been well received by stakeholders such as the Fiji Head Teachers Association, the Fiji Principals Association, Fiji Retailers Association, parents, teachers, heads of schools, uh, parents, teachers association, faith-based organization, and Fijian Teachers Association. Each term will be for 10 weeks, which adds up to approximately 200 days, which is over the minimum required days for schools to open for classes as set out in the Education Act, Section 29.7b, which clearly states the school should be open for not less than 195 days in any school year. In the 2023 academic year, Term 1 will begin on 30th January and end on 6th April. Term 2 will begin on 24th April and end on 30th June. Term 3 will begin on 17th July and end on 22 September. And Term 4 will begin on 9th October and it will end on 15th December. Having a four-term academic year for schools will allow teachers to have breaks following shorter school terms, given that teachers work hard during the term and manage students, which is challenging and physically draining. Shorter terms and four-term holidays will allow teachers to rest and recharge, reducing the burnout. And of course, the stress that they go through. Having 10 weeks per term with four-term model is better than having 14 weeks under three-term model as it allows students to have breaks, refresh, and prepare for another 10 weeks. We all know that our country faces the threat of tropical cyclones from November to April, and it peaks between January to March. And in the past, we all have experienced, as soon as we announced the opening of the school, and due to bad weather and flooding, we had to immediately close the schools. And, and that caused a lot of disruptions. And not forgetting that most of our schools are also used as evacuation centers. So uh, this will, again, address the disruptions that we have just talked about. The term holidays have been also aligned with Australia and New Zealand school terms, which will allow better planning of family holidays. It should be noted that Fijians have their families and relatives in, in this country. And school teachers, they, they prefer going to these two countries for their school breaks. And unfortunately, when they um, visit their friends and relatives, they find that their children are back in school and uh, when they take their children uh, for family reunion and family get-togethers, um, they're not able to accomplish that. 
the new model school uh, the new school model will further allow spread of sporting activities over three terms so the term four can be devoted to exams previously all sporting exams were um, we had to pack it within the two terms and and the children had to or students had to choose which sports to play now if we spread it out if we spread sporting events over three terms it means a child can make a choice in more than one sports and then of course we are leaving term four dedicated solely for the exams and examination preparation. Now this will not only benefit uh, students and teachers but this new uh, term that we are uh, talking about will also benefit businesses and uh, Suma Retailers Association did approach uh, Ministry of Education with their proposal and they also suggested that uh, we move away from three term school year to four term school year. So we believe that the businesses will also benefit as this will allow them to conclude the business for the festive season before the start of back to school preparations. And this will give parents ample time to plan for their children's schooling needs uh, after the festive season. So it's, they're not being rushed. They can relax and enjoy the festival, festive season and then prepare for their children's uh, schooling needs. As it is, there is no financial implication because the state already provides free education grant and transport assistance to students. Finally, having a school year divided into four terms will provide opportunities that will not only benefit students and teachers, but the society as a whole. So ladies and gentlemen, that is our proposal. And uh, today we are announcing the new school academic year and how it will be rolled out in the year 2023. And finally, uh, you know that uh, we are heading for long weekend. Uh, tomorrow we will be celebrating Prophet Muhammad's birthday. So I would like to wish everyone a blessed Prophet Muhammad's birthday. And on Monday we will be celebrating Fiji Day. So I also would like to wish everyone happy Fiji Day. Good night.